Hi, it's Kelowna here, and I am looking forward to talking about seven summer favorites. So I have seven things that I use all the time during summer, and I just wanted to share with those more with you guys. So first of all, um, in summertime, we like our bodies to feel toned, and we like to feel um, like we are detoxifying, and one thing I love to rub on my skin is called Cell Light Massage Oil. And the Cell Light, actually it's Cell Light Magic Massage Oil. And the Cell Light is amazing because you can massage your legs or your booty or your tummy or anywhere that you're looking to um, dissolve fat cells because it has grapefruit oil in it and some other citrus oils and cleansing and detoxifying oils that actually will help dissolve um, anywhere where you have some extra that you'd like to start getting rid of. Of course, doing exercise and drinking enough water and paying attention to what you eat um, is also very important to have toned skin and to look good and feel good and all of that. But I just like to use this, um, especially in my kind of target areas and just massaging in general increases the circulation and then the oils in here do that as well because it also has cypress oil, which is for increasing circulation. Um, so I would definitely have this be in your lineup of what you are using on your body during summertime. The next thing that I love um, is Ninja Red and I love it in these little packets for summer because you can either throw them in the freezer and then you can cut off the whole top and push it up and eat it like an otter pop. And that's super fun for kids. It's a great way to stay hydrated, to stay cool, get all of your antioxidants because we know that the wolfberry puree is a whole food and it is the highest antioxidant food on the planet. There's also some other high antioxidant juices in here and it also has essential oils. Um, so it's great for eyesight, healthy immune system, and just keeping you nourished um, for long days at the beach or the pool or traveling or whatever you're doing. Um, you can also just throw it in the fridge. It doesn't even have to be refrigerated. I keep them in my purse, in my travel bag, and you just tear off the top and drink it down. So Ninja Packets, that's my number two. Number three is lip balm. So I am uh, just a stickler for a good lip balm. Um, very particular, obviously anything we're putting on our skin is being absorbed into our whole system. So I love the purity and the quality of Young Living's lip balm. This happens to be a cinnamon, and I keep this one um, right out in my, like on the counter in my bathroom and in my kitchen, and I keep one in my purse. I keep this everywhere because, and I keep all different, um, they have different, flavors. So there's grapefruit, there is lavender, and of course they're all infused with Young Living's amazing seed to seal quality essential oils. So you know you're not getting any um, artificial colors or anything like that. And I love the way it feels on my lips. It keeps them hydrated and I'm in the sun a lot. So um, I like to have something on my lips all the time, even when I'm not in the sun. And I use it when I wake up in the morning before I go to bed, just all the time. So lip balm. And then my third thing is kind of fun. So lemon essential oil. Lemon oil can be used for lots of different things. It comes as a vitality oil, so you can add it to your water and it helps you drink more water. It's cleansing and detoxifying and uplifting and just makes your water taste better. So you drink more and stay more hydrated. But what I like to do is actually put a couple drops in my hands and I like to put it on the ends of my hair, um, to help your hair have natural highlights. So remember sun in when we were kids? I didn't actually use sun in, but I used to um, have friends that used sun in. I did the uh, like squeezing lemon juice and pouring lemon juice all over my head. Well, lemon oil is cold pressed from the rind and it has that similar kind of brightening effect. So if you put it on the ends of your hair and you're out in the sun, it helps give you like a natural highlight. One precaution is it increases photosensitivity when you're in the sun. So if you were to actually get it um, on your scalp and then you were out in direct sunlight, you might get a sunburn. Or if you got it on your face or anywhere else, um, everybody's skin is different, but just be careful with within 24 to 48 hours, if you have put lemon oil actually on your skin, you want to probably avoid direct sunlight, but it's awesome for highlights. Okay, next is purification oil. And purification is a blend that has citronella in it 
and tea tree and lavender and what else? Rosemary. Um, and it is incredible, also myrtle. Um, it is incredible for our skin, but it's also incredible for keeping, um, if you're gonna be camping or if you're gonna be outdoors right as the sun is setting and you're around a lot of water and there are bugs, mosquitoes, flies, that kind of thing. I like to always use purification and you can either add a couple drops to your hand and rub it around and just rub it right on your body. If you need a carrier oil, you could make a little mixture that already has carrier oil in it and you know use a little glass dropper bottle or what I like to do is do a spray bottle. So I'll just add water and about 15 drops of purification oil and I will mist my body when I'm gonna be outside um, in an area where I know that there could be little annoying bugs. Um, also, this is great for underarms during summer when we're sweating and we're out and about. Um, purification is great for odors and stinky things, right? So you can kind of use it under your underarms um, or in stinky shoes or something like that. So that's what I love about purification. Um, and there's lots of other uses for it too, but those are the highlights, the things that I use it for. Uh, the other thing is Lavaderm Cooling Mist. So this feels so good on a hot summer day when you're out in the sun, if you're hiking, or even after you've been outside all day and you wanna just cool your skin down. Oh my gosh, it feels good on your face, it feels good on your body. On hot nights, my kids, like when they peel their covers back, I'll just spray them all over and they'll just lay there in their bed and get sprayed on one side, flip over and spray them down on the other side. But it just like nourishes and moisturizes your skin. It has lavender oil in it, which is so good for skin. It also has Northern Lights Black Spruce and it has some minerals, which are really um, good for just skin nutrition, skin health, and some aloe vera. So I love Lavaderm. It it's, feels amazing on my skin, and I love just misting my face with it because I tend to have drier skin and I get um, hot easily in hot weather, so back of the neck or face. And then last but not least is Meadow Mist deodorant. So if you are still using a deodorant that is an antiperspirant or a traditional deodorant from the store, you might want to consider switching because we don't want to block um, ourselves from sweating because that's healthy for detoxifying the body. And there are a lot of studies that show that aluminum and some of the traditional ingredients in um, regular deodorant are not healthy for our bodies. And so this is a healthy alternative. There is no aluminum, there are no parabens, there are no additives or synthetic ingredients. It's essential oils. Um, it also has coconut oil and beeswax and the essential oil blend is really nice and uh, I actually learned that you can put this on at night so it's best if you put it on clean armpits like after you've taken a shower but you can put it on at night and it actually helps your lymphatic system um, helps to detoxify your lymphatic system so you could even put it on at night uh, but anyway meadow mist deodorant good one to have for traveling for everyday use and those are my top seven. So happy summer, enjoy.